Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, we're here with Game 6 of the Stanley Cup playoffs between the 1990-91 Minnesota North Stars and the 1990-91 St. Louis Blues. Game 6, we will be at home because it'll go back to St. Louis if we force a Game 7, but we are losing three games to two right now. So, Minnesota has got to win this game to it to uh, stay alive. And if St. Louis wins it, they'll advance and play, I believe, the um, LA Kings in the Western Division, the what I'm going to call the Western Division final. So, uh, let me turn down the sound and uh, get this game going. And let me move myself out of the way here. They're going to have Cujo in against our John Casey, which we will definitely be having John Casey in because we got to win this game. So let's take the face off and get underway here in Minnesota. And let's see. We lost a face off. No, St. Louis loses the face off, and Tenorti has it. So, see what we can do with it. Got to win this game. It's an all important game from Minnesota. And uh, let's see. It looks like we got offsetting penalties. Yeah, we do. So, just those two guys go to the box. Another face off. Um, just letting you guys know, if we do lose this game and um, St. Louis advances, then I will just quick play um, everything to the end of, through the Stanley Cup, through the end of the Stanley Cup final. And then I'll just do a video that lets everybody know who ended up winning the Stanley Cup. So that's what's going to happen. There will be no more televised games if we lose here. And Glenn has the puck, gets possession. Um, and then obviously if we win, you'd be looking for game seven because we will put game seven up. Um, all right, Jeff Brown going to the penalty box. So we got a power play chance here. And also if the game gets out of hand, severely out of hand, I will move ahead in the action to cut down the, the uh, length of the video. So that I don't make you sit through an excruciating loss by our Minnesota North Stars. And they tried to get inside and couldn't. So now it looks like Basil McRae maybe has the puck. No Bellows. Bellows has it. First period, 13.25 left. And... Brett Hull takes the puck away and has an outside shot. And that's a save by Casey. Casey coming up pretty big there for us. Bellows has the puck back. And there's a possible breakaway on this. Great pass. And Johnson, unfortunately, has the breakaway. But we'll see if he can manage to score. And he can't. So that's going to be a save. And the left defenseman for St. Louis will come by and scoop it up. And that's Cavallini, Paul Cavallini. And uh, they got a great pass, and Brindamore is going to be inside on top of Casey. And that's going to be goalie rating nine, which is a goal probably here. Yeah, easily. So St. Louis has a one nothing lead with 12.05 left in the first period. So we're down early. Got to get back up into things here. And we lost the face off. Jeff Brown has it for St. Louis. And a great, another great pass. And Paul Cavallini's behind everybody with a 10, which is a save defensive left wing so our left wing scoops it up that's Duchesne Gatan Duchesne 
with 10.56 left in the first period. They're out shooting us 5-3 and outscoring us 1-0 on the scoreboard. And uh, outside shot only. And Duchesne with the outside shot. And he's going to make, it's going to be a save by Curtis Joseph. And Meager, Ryan Meager, has the puck for St. Louis. Now we're under half a period in the first period. And they had a great, a good pass and the player penetrating. That's McLean, Paul McLean, Mr. McLean. And that's going to be a save by John Casey. So Perry Bearson has the puck with 9.14 left in the first period. And McLean is going to have an outside shot. That's going to be a save, though, and our left defenseman will come away with it. And that's Wilkinson. Neil Wilkinson, the man who never appears over here on our, uh, on our, what in the heck? My cat actually jumped up here on the table. Here he is. That's my cat. So anyway, there was a save there by him, and now we've got um, Hull with the puck. And uh, let's see. Yeah, Hull has it. And my, my cat, George, is watching on intently, wanting to see what's going on. Looks like maybe Neil Broughton. No, yeah, Neil Broughton with an inside shot. That's a rebound, and let's see what happens on the rebound. Um, yeah, I'm going to have Bellows take it. What do you think, George? Bellows, maybe? And that's going to be a goal. So we tie the game. What do you think, George? We tied the game there. You like it? You like that we tied the game? Yeah, he sees something. I'm going to put him down. You go get it now. All right. So that was a little visit by George the cat. And we now have a tie game on our hands. And we're tied in the shots, too, at 7-all. So this may be an exciting game that goes right down to the last, the last minute of the third period wouldn't that be exciting after all this that we've been through of course we would like to win that game in whatever fashion whether we i don't care if we stomp them or if we win it in the with the last goal of the game the last shot of the game or whatever so scott stevens has the puck And Duchesne took it away and has an outside shot. That's a roll of a seven. And that's going to be a save. The left wing comes up with it. And Basson now has it. And he, Johnson, Jim Johnson, takes it away from him and has a shot. And that's going to be... A save by Joseph, and the right defenseman comes through to pick it up, and that's Jeff Brown for St. Louis with 524 left in the first period. And Craig took it away and has an outside shot. Eight, that's going to be a rebound. Let's hope we get it back like we did the other one. Nope, defensive right defenseman's going to come up with it, and that's Jeff Brown. But we're out shooting them 10 7, so we're starting to play better than them. Uh, but the score is still tied at one. And uh, Basil McCray with the intimidation chance, I'll take it at 60%. So. And he does lay a crushing hit on McLean, and Bellows ends up with the puck after all of that. 405 left in the first period. 
And they tried to get inside and they failed to do so. So I believe we would have the puck, right? And that is true. And that's going to be Kurt Giles with the puck for us. And Hull took it away, has an outside shot. That's a roll of a five, which is a save, and it goes to our center. Maybe Berezin, let me guess. It's always him. He's always the guy out there. No, it isn't. It's Gagne this time. So Gagne has the puck, and there's a breakaway. Dahlquist, possibly. No, it didn't happen. Featherston just put the kibosh on that. But there is an outside shot for the center. Is that us? No, that's them, and the player did penetrate. It's going to be Quinn. Dan Quinn from inside shooting on Casey. That's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes away. 2.32 left on the first. Very close game. Dahlquist with it. And Wilson, Ron Wilson takes the puck away, has an outside shot. There's a rebound. And let's see what happens. Left wing, come, our left wing comes away with it, and that's Duchesne, Duchesne. So a minute 14 left. The first period is coming quickly to a close, and there's a penalty on Rich Suter. We'll take it. And that's going to spill over into the second period. So we're going to have the man advantage for a minute 14 to close out the first. And then uh, and then about, uh, whatever, 46 seconds into the, uh, into the second. So And prop has an outside shot, unfortunately, not an inside. But. That's a six. That's a save right wing. So their right wing comes up with the puck. And that's Adam Oates. Adam Oates failed skate. And so we should have the puck. Fifty three seconds left. Player for the shot. I'm going to say prop and probably try to get him inside if I can, and I will try to penetrate with him, and he did. So Prop is going to have an inside shot. And it's going to be a save defensive center. Although they don't have a center, so maybe we'll still get possession of the puck. And we do, and Bobby Smith has an outside shot. I'm going to pass with him. No, he lost control. See, that was, he was probably better at passing. And, oh, wait a minute, I got another Bobby Smith. I'm going to penetrate this time with Smith. But this time he passes and it's an inside shot. For Dolan. All right, so Ulf Dolan with the inside shot. And that's a save any player. So it looks like we're going to, yes, we are going to leave the first period with a tie. And uh, there is 46 seconds left in the penalty to Rich Suter. We have to try to get possession and get a shot off, maybe two if we can. But we can't. Scott Stevens comes away with the puck for St. Louis. And he skated successfully with the puck, too. He will no doubt try that again. And this time he doesn't. It's a failed skate. We should have the puck and maybe even get a shot here before the penalty ends. Uh, player for the shot, I'm going to say Gagne. We can always pass with him if we have to. But I may even try to just work him inside. I'm going to try to penetrate with Gagne. And he does penetrate, so he's inside. Gagne with an inside shot, 10. That's a save right defenseman. 
So that's probably going to be, yes, the end of the penalty. We are out shooting him 14 to 10, but the score is still tied. And the penalty that St. Louis had is over. And there was a big hit, I think, on Stevens, possibly. No, Stevens put the hit on Johnson. I don't know. But anyway, Stevens has the puck for St. Louis. That's what's going on right now. St. Louis with possession with 17.48 left in the second of a tie game. I will try to take to intimidate at 35% with Gagne. And there's going to be no penalty. And Gagne gets the puck back for us with 17.18 left in the second. And uh, Cavallini knocked Bobby Smith off the puck, and now Cavallini has it for St. Louis. And Giles works his way inside. He's got an inside shot. And that's going to be lose to the center. That's Ron Wilson. And Bobby Smith took it away, has an outside shot, but it's going to be a save by Joseph and any player they're going to give it to. So let's see who they decide to give it to. And that'll be Jeff Brown. And uh, maybe we got an outside shot, took the puck. Yes, Glenn took the puck away and has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Joseph. And it'll go to their center, who is probably meager, yes. So Ryan Meager has the puck. And uh, player for the shot, Craig. Yeah, let's make it Craig. Let's see what Craig can do. And Craig is inside. Let's see. Four. That's a save defensive center. Not a good roll. But we're out shooting them 17 10 with the uh with 14 26 left in the second period of again a tie game very good game so you could tell both teams understand the gravity of the situation but they got hull inside so brett hull with an inside shot goalie rating 10 and uh that's going to be a save and uh yeah it's going to be a penalty a pen Jack casey had a penalty so i'm going to make dolan serve it oh and there's an extra oh, man wilkinson will serve that one what are we gonna what are we down to men what's going on here no, we're only down one guy, though. All right. I'm not going to pretend to know how this computer does penalties. So, But we, we are, um, I mean, St. Louis is on a uh, power play. We're shorthanded. Perry Bear is in with the puck. And Brett Hall takes the puck away. So now he has it. Got to be careful here. Uh, Neil Broughton. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Broughton. Broughton has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. It may not work, but let's see what happens. Lose puck to the opponent. Yeah, I figured that something like that might happen. So Paul Cavallini has it, 13.03 left in the second, not in the game. 
Brett Hull with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Casey, so we'll have a face-off to Casey's left. So we got the face off. We're still out shooting them 17 12. 12 26 left in the second period. Minnesota looks like we're going to take control. We intercepted the puck. Player for possession, I'm going to give it to Nordy because he's across from an A. Penalty. And we lose it to Garth Butcher. Butcher has it for St. Louis. And there's going to be an inside shot for Quinn, Dan Quinn. And they scored. Dang. St. Louis takes a 2 1 lead with 11.42 left in the second period. So face off at center ice. And Tenorti has it. And outside shot for the center, for our center, Bobby Smith, I'm gonna to try to penetrate. Inside shot for left wing. So that's Duchesne inside. It would be nice to have a goal right here. Seven goalie rating, five is a goal. And Bobby Smith ties a game for us. So some shoddy defense by St. Louis leads to them allowing the tying goal. So face off at center ice, Wilson against Bobby Smith, who just scored that goal. Tie game. We're out shooting. We're out shooting the St. Louis Blues 18-13, and we come away with the puck, and I'm going to give it to Denorti again. He's across from an A, as we have established. So, Denorti with the puck. Nice pass. Duchesne on a breakaway. That's going to be a six goalie rating, six goal. Yes, we take the lead. Within a minute, we've just taken the lead. We've gone from being down two to one to being up three, two. And that goal is by Duchesne with the assist by Tenorti. And now face off at center ice. This time it's Ryan Meager against Perry Berezin. And Paul Cavallini comes away with the puck for St. Louis. No penalty, nice hit. So maybe we've got the puck now. No, they do still. Jeff Brown with possession of it. 921 left in the second. We're holding on to a uh, slim one goal lead. Um, hmm, player for the shot. I'm gonna go with uh I'm going to go with Mike Craig. Tomlinson couldn't drag him down, so Mike Craig inside. Shoots for save defensive center.
And Curtis Joseph made the save. And now Adam Oates has it for St. Louis. And we took the puck away, it looks like, and have an outside shot only with Broughton. Six, goalie rating, 12. Save, breakaway, 13 something. So it looks like there's going to be a face-off to Cujo's right in their end. And 7.26 left in the second. All right, Dahlquist has an outside shot. I am going to just... I'm going to try to pass it. Let's try to pass it and see what happens. No, nope. it was intercepted by Brindamore. He came by and swooped in, took the puck. Now St. Louis has possession of it. That wasn't really a high chance, but I mean, he wasn't going to score either. So, all right, we got Madano. Select a player for the shot. Yeah, I'm going to say Madano. That's a good choice. Madonna with an outside shot. Goalie rating seven. Save by their defenseman. I think it's got to be five or six from what I remember to be a goal. So Featherston has it for St. Louis with 7.16 left. We're out shooting St. Louis 22-13 and outscoring them 3-2. But Gino Cavallini has an inside shot. Seven. Goalie rating 11. Rebound. So Casey allows a rebound on that shot. Offensive center if a three. And he is. It's Dan Quinn. He's positioning for a shot. Ten goalie rating plus. So no. And it's going to be a face off to Casey's left. So we have a face off in our end. 7.16 left in the second period. Doug Schmale with it. And Doug Schmale has an option to intimidate Bob Bass, and I'm going to let him try to do that, and he doesn't. So Bob Bassin has an inside shot. That's an 11. It's going to be a save left wing. So Duchesne comes away with the puck. 624 left in the second period. We still have the one goal lead, 3-2. to two. And there's a great pass. Suter, all by himself. Seven, goalie rating, three. It's going to be a save any forward. And I'm going to give it to Schmail because he is across from an A. So Casey coming up huge for us here. And Mike Craig with the puck. And I'm going to try to intimidate at 60%. Yes. Jarring hit. And there is a penalty. And I'm going to give it to Johnson, I suppose. So we're going to be down a man here. We have to, again, we've got to be careful. 5.57 left in the second. We have a goal lead, but we want to hold on to that goal lead. And they get inside. Looks like maybe with Brendamore. Yeah. So Brendamore has an inside shot. Seven goalie rating, three. Save at any forward. And I will give it to Schmale because he's across from an A. That didn't work well last time, but let's see what happens. And Lowry takes the puck away, has an inside shot, eight, rebound, stopped by Casey. 
and we're going to get a chance to get it back and i'm going to give it to schmail again he's across from an a i'm hoping for a penalty on them but i'm not getting it and lowry takes the puck away again so now lowry has it for st louis 423 left in the second a minute left in the penalty a minute two and we got a breakaway. Duchesne took the puck and has a breakaway nine. Goalie rating seven. And that's going to be a save either defense. All righty. So we're back. Let's see. They've got the puck. So St. Louis has the puck. Cavallini. And there's a penalty on Kurt Giles. We really did not need to follow a penalty with another penalty. So now... Dan Quinn has the puck for St. Louis. Brett Hull has it off the um, faceoff. Dan Quinn has an outside shot. Nine, save left defenseman. So we're out shooting them 23-20, and, uh, and we're out scoring them 3-2. And um, player for the shot, yeah, Brat, and I'll go with Brat. Um, I'm just going to take the shot. He has an outside shot. I'm just going to take it. Four, save right defensive. So Paul Cavallini has an outside shot. And that is going to be a save by Casey. Nice. It was a goal seven, but the split card was an 11. So we have a face-off to Casey's left. Still have the three to two lead. Lowry takes the puck away, has an inside shot, but that's going to be lose it to the right defenseman. So our right defenseman has the puck with a minute 14 left in the second. And we're back to even strength again. We killed off the penalty, thankfully. 44 seconds left. Out shooting them 24-21, and it looks like we may go to the third quarter or the third period. Up 3-2, to two, but we'll see. Nope, Dan Quinn has an inside shot. He might score on this. Nine, goalie rating big plus. So that's going to be a save by Casey and a face-off to his left. And Prop has the puck. And that's it. The period is over. And we go to the third period, up three to two with just 20 minutes left. So let's take the face off and get underway with the third period. See how that goes. 20 minutes left. All we got to do is hang on, even just hang on to the one goal lead that we have for 20 more minutes. Butcher takes the puck away, it looks like possible. He passes the puck, and it's an inside shot for the right wing, left wing. And that's Lowry. He rolls a 12, though. That's a save, left defenseman. So Tenorti comes up with the puck for us. We're out shooting St. Louis at this point, 24-23, and we have a 3-2 goal lead. 
And Butcher gets the puck back. Outside shot for left wing. So it looks like maybe, did we take it away? No, maybe not. Nope. They have it. Brindamore from Cavallini. But that's a save by Casey. And our left wing has it. And that's prop. Plum six. That's going to be a save defensive center. So. Our center will have possession of the puck after this. That's Broughton. A minute 14 remains in the game. And there's a penalty probably on Oates. Yeah, it's on Oates. So now, yeah, it's now they're in bad shape. They're only down by a goal, though. But they're, you know, I don't know. i have to see what they would do. Because even pulling him out of the net only gives them the same number of men on the ice. So a minute two, Scott Stevens has the puck, and they do pull him. Bob Basson's the extra skater. And there's another penalty, but this is on Jim Johnson. Thank you, Jim Johnson. All right, so now Curtis Joseph's back out there and they're back at even, but I don't know why they're even doing that. They really still should have kept him out and kept the man advantage. Neil Broughton with the puck for us, 14 seconds left. Looks like we're going to wind it down and take it to game seven. Period over. That's it. Love it. Do you love it? Because I love it. We're forcing a game seven in St. Louis. <clears throat> so final score was 3-2 us. We uh, were outshot 32-31. Uh, let's see here. Penalty summary looks like, uh, I don't know, it looks like it was close to even. <clears throat> Stars of the game, Duchesne for us, Casey for us, and then Quinn for them. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. We'll see you in St. Louis for Game 7.